go. Crash and flow. All right, right off the bat, let's talk about gun ownership, Sagan. I love gun ownership. Tell me more. All right, so I have been. You have you know, been looking into this? I've been looking into. I've been looking into it. I'm serious about it. I. I. There was a something. Um, something serendipitous happened a couple a week ago, right? I had a friend and a mentor, uh, um, this really uh, cool Filipino guy, and it's important that you know that he's Filipino. Um, uh, I used to. I used to work with him. He was. He was my mentor, and then after he left, he he's working for another company. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he randomly. I guess when you're in quarantine, you get a little bored. And you start going mm -hmm. through your phone, and he saw my contact. He's like, "Yo, I haven't spoken to this guy in whatever, like nine years, or eight years. Let me let me see if this is, this is the same number." So he gives me a call midday. I pick up. I still have the same phone number since the BlackBerry Pearl, bro. So he uh, so we started talking, and uh, we're talking about the quarantine and stuff like that. And I remembered that he always had a lot of guns when he was in the Philippines. Right, mm -hmm. uh, he had like family members that were dignitaries and military people and whatnot. So. Um, it was a good idea for you to be strapped for his family. But like, aspect, part, it's good for him to have guns. If you're in the Philippines, it's definitely good to have a gun. Right. You know, especially yeah. when, you're, like a, when your own president is like, we're going to kill you. If yeah, you're outside. It's a utility tool. <laughs> if you're outside, we're going to kill you. Yeah, man. If we suspect you're on drugs, we will kill you. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so I was saying like, hey, look, you know, I'm interested in, in, in learning how to shoot. And he said, uh, dude, same thing. My wife was totally against guns since we came to Canada, but now with the quarantine, uh, she's like, maybe it'd be a good idea if you had one in the house, right? Uh, for target practice, of course. Anyway, so he's, uh, he was telling me how there was a, there's a two week training or a, like a two day training over the course of two weeks that you can do. So I'm like, all right, cool. I can, I can do that with my friend. We can reconnect over this and, and do that. So then I watched a documentary on Canadian gun ownership. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dude, like everyone thinks that an AR-15 is illegal in Canada. It's not. It is now. I mean, now it is, which I'm going to get into. today. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get into that. But, um, freaking, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, okay, so you, you don't need a permit for you to be able to go shoot, but you need a permit mm. for you to be able to, to own a gun and purchase a mm -hmm. gun and own a gun. That takes like seven weeks. You got to do an application. You got to get three people to sign off that you're mentally stable. That's all I need. Um, I need to trick three people, <laughs> and then and then your name goes into a, a registry, and every day they run a scan on the on the entire database. If you enter um, the database, like let's say for example, you get a charge or you get a pending charge, like a you know a criminal charge, they come over to your house, they take your gun away immediately. Hmm. Um, there was an instance in this documentary where uh, this guy he, uh, he 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 was going through a divorce. And then uh, he had like a mental breakdown, you know, like a, a, a depressive episode and whatnot. He went to see a doctor for him to be able to get help for this, right? Mm. That gets notified somewhere. And they contacted him. They contacted his wife first, asked him, uh, like did a little interview over the phone, and then contacted him, came over to his place, picked up all his guns and said, once when you get the help you need, we'll reinstate your license. But right now we're taking all the guns away and took all his guns away. Is um, that good? Or do you disagree with that? Or no, agree I agree. With that? I agree. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, like, you I feel know, the same. Yeah. I mean, it, because he, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's good on like a couple levels, right? Um, mm -hmm. the, one, it's good that, um, that they are somehow made aware that mm -hmm. this, you know, he's, his mental state is not the way how it's normally. And he might, you know, divorces can be ugly. You, you might do yeah. some shit that you, you might regret. So the fact that, you know, that's kind of connected in that network, one. Number two, it kind of pushes the person to to get help, they, the help they need. Because a lot of people who like shooting their guns at the gun range really like shooting guns at a gun range. Oh, yeah. You I've know? been to a gun range. Yeah. They really enjoy it. They have, like, memberships, like annual membership like you come there all the time yeah exactly and yeah. so um like when they take away their guns he's like yo i really want my guns back i guess i'll go to therapy i guess i'll like better myself understand who i am a little bit try to work through this pain and trauma let it flow through me and then get his gun back they said it statistically gun owners in canada are the uh population that is or the segment of a population that is least likely for any criminal activity um 
And that's why the people who are getting their like guns taken away, who are have them registered, are super so upset. pissed. Super yeah. pissed because they're not. Yeah. So I can see why it seems like a reactionary thing. Also, like based on the documentary, which was a couple of years ago, so it's it's tough to say whether or not some of these rules have already been changed uh, since then. But like even for assault rifles. Uh, your magazine can only hold five bullets. So the magazine sizes, I think, is limited to, f- to, to five bullets. So you can't no be way. walking around with a drum of like 50, just airing it out. Right. Um, but it would be like you, in sets of five. It would take a while. Right. But you can, like the things that, that is available for, for Canadians to use um, is, pretty, is pretty crazy. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I saw something very similar to a 50 cal sniper rifle. Like, Whoa. and it's like, it's like this, this mom <laughs> who owns this 50 cal goes to the goes to the range and then it's one of those sniper rifles where you only well i guess there's a magazine but the bullet is like the size of a of a like a like a knife like a thick yeah. chunky knife and they just push that one bullet in the chamber we haven't been to a shooting range together no eh? we haven't we got to change Dude, that there's soon. a there's a sniper well well, let's see when things open up. Yeah. They would charge me four dollars a bullet. Is yeah. how big this bullet was. It was big as my hand. It was like that big. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, that, that looks like I said at least four dollars. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Nine I mean, millimeters you get for like ten bucks. You get like fifteen. Okay. Like, bing, 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 bing. It's a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. No. For sure. So uh, definitely uh, gonna do that. There's a, oh also there's a lot of Asian girls into um uh, what's it called handgun handgun target practice. This full on, I don't know. I'll show you. I'll show you some of the some of the the Instagram. It's just it, think of it as a thirst trap, right? And the mm-hmm. the the girl is generally Asian, from what I can see on Instagram, and uh, they hold their gun. You know, they're holding their gun and they're just posing. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's same. It's the same ass shots. It's the same. It's the right. same everything except she's holding a gun. <laughs> I, I don't know if that turns me on more or less. That's scary. It's the uh, yeah. It's a uh, scaroused. Sc- you are scaroused. scaroused. You're scared and aroused at the same I time. I think if you're trying to attract white men, that's the way to go. You put on a you put on an Asian girl with a gun. Yeah, I think that's the move. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's multi-racial attraction, but well, those those two really like each other. They really do, don't they? they yeah, really I think do. so. Out of out of all the genders that like each other, I don't think anybody likes each other more than white men and Asian women. Uh, what about black dudes and um, not as much larger ladies? Larger white ladies. That's that's just a white lady, dude. <laughs> no, but I thought that's 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 isn't that better? I feel like that's better. It is. You're right. You're yeah. not wrong. Yeah. In Houston, they definitely preferred larger white ladies, larger but white a ladies. white guy and an Asian white. Yeah, that's. I think. I think mm. they're pretty close. We should do a census. <laughs> I th- yeah, they're Listeners. pretty up there. They're pretty up there. Let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if it was more culturally um, accepted, uh, mm-hmm. brown girls would go for white white dudes as well. Oh, why wouldn't I would go for a white guy? I'd just go for a white girl, but okay. Okay, yeah, that would make more sense. I mean, you're straight in this reality. I see what you're. I see the games you're playing. But yes, but listen, I understand what you're trying to say. If I had to, you know, date outside my race, especially if it was a guy, yeah, I would go with the white guy. I'd go for a white guy, yeah. He'd be laid back. Mm-hmm. He'd be wearing hoodies all the time. Wow, that's those are the aspects that you're. you're he thinking. would know where all the coffee places are. Brown guys don't know any of that. Brown, uh, he most brown guys can't put together a good date. No, they can't. They don't work out. They don't know what a yoga studio is. They get loud for no reason. Yeah. And then they're just like, that's how I talk, see? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, You know, there was this whole thing at some point when, when, the, when it was time to be really upset at white people who do yoga. Hmm. Um, I I I pass that over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pass over a lot of things. I, I, like I to pass hold on. over a lot I, of things. I, I, like, I like to hold on to it a little bit. And uh, and uh, b- people were so pissed that it was just only white people that were teaching yoga. And I'm like, so open open a studio, open a studio. Yeah. Like, I don't understand what's holding you back. Like, they're not like, shutting us out. Yeah, that's they're what not I'm saying. Like... <laughs> no one, no one said no brown people can open a yoga studio. Okay, you know, it's, it's just the only th- reason they're not letting brown guys to do it because we just be la- we're like, hey. Doggy stuff, you know, like it wouldn't be calm or right, the way like, they talk. Yeah, any it just doesn't make any sense. It was, people, people were acting like you know what had happened was that brown people. It felt like brown people weren't really that centered around yoga, and then mm. white people were like, "Yo, this is really cool." And then brown this people were like, wait, "Wait, wait, 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 wait. This is our cool thing. You can't have it. We want it back." 
Well, white people like to take some things now and then and run so hard with it yeah. that you're like, wait, that's turmeric. That's <laughs> ours. But they're like, no, it's in everything. It's in this yeah, chocolate, yeah. this milk, this baby. You know, like Cranberries, um, green tea. Green tea at some make, point was everything. They put everything. it in yeast infection uh, medicine. They'll put it anywhere, dude. They don't care. They have no... I'm like, that's not how you take it in. They're like, yeah, it is now. <laughs> this is a Never suppository. Well, well, there you go. That's uh, So, yeah, don't be upset. Just go. Also, I've been going to... I, your, your, your wife's been going to yoga studios for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, Namaste. Thank you. That, that always does trip and, me out, and, though, and, and, when I'm at a yoga place. And they and go, and Namaste. Peace. I'm like, fuck it, Namaste. Get out of here. And peace be upon Dumbass. you. Um, yeah. Barely any see brown people. Even in the class. Yeah, rarely. Just it's even true. in the class. And I'm not going to... Okay, I did go to a bougie one for a little while. But there was other ones I didn't go... I just went to regular-ass studios that were that were cheap for you to go to. They weren't that expensive at all. Mm-hmm. It's only white people. It's only white people. You know what? And black dudes. Oh, really? Lots of I white people. seen this yet. Lots of white people and a whole lot of black guys only. I didn't see any black ladies whatsoever. Is this in Mississauga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we don't, I barely have any, like, there's barely any black dudes in this city. In really? Houston, that was the majority of the population. Yeah. Here in the city, it's a rarity. Hmm. A rarity. Just walking down the street. I can't find a black guy. Really? Yeah, looking for him. Looking for him. Yeah, I'm out there. Yeah, you're looking for them in a positive way. You're not looking for them to cross yeah. the street or anything. No, no, no. I like the cops. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, cops are still walking around on those uh, horses. Yeah. Taking still pooping. shits. At, still pooping. There's, there's no service people to pick it up anymore. Oh, no. So it's just big piles of shit. Yo, that's disrespectful. That's mad disrespectful. That's disrespectful. So uh, a, 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 a horse cop can poop, but there's, yeah. no, there's no cop poop scooper. They just like, someone else mm-hmm. will pick it up. Yeah. That's, an, that's, that's unfortunate. You should, maybe you should gather all of it. One day you go out, you, you <laughs> gather all of it. You put it into a bag. Yeah, right? and just dump it on their shit. Just be like, <laughs> here, here, and, and then just go to the local, uh, the local division precinct, and just put mm-hmm. it in like two, the whatever police department. I think that you left this. This was littering, <laughs> right? And I would like I think to, you dropped this. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, and then put it there along with pictures of each place geotagged on where you where you picked each one of them up. Yeah, I think I think that level of petty would be really really oh, yeah. rewarded. I- in, I'm just in returning social media. their property. In yeah, exactly. Media. Yeah, we should actually do that and put it on Instagram. I know we we're trying to find a way to get famous. This might be it. <laughs> this might be it, man. Yep. Return to sender. We could call it Return that. Return to call sender. It... <laughs> you know what? The thing is, we have all the ingredients. I know where the shit is. I got plastic bags and you know, a scoop. I, I can fill up like a good solid black bag, like a like four five pounds of shit, yeah. like heavy. You know what's funny? Heavy. You know, it's funny. If I told my dad about the story, he'd be like, just just bring it to the backyard. Bring it to the compost. Yep. <laughs> you should, You got to give people that idea. You can't let people <laughs> not know you have a compost. Otherwise, they think <laughs> your dad's just collecting shit in the backyard, bro. Fair, fair, fair. My dad's yeah. a shit collector. <laughs> <laughs> he's just out there. He's like, look at the color. He's an enthusiast. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, this one. High in sodium. They're like, Dad. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we, we have uh, lamb. Le- you can buy lamb uh, manure. Poop? Yeah, yeah. from uh, from Home Depot and whatnot. We got it in for a bag. For? Just uh Oh, you put it in your soil you, to uh, mm. re-neutral, re-neutral, yeah. put nutrients back into the soil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll get, I'm like, you, you take it. I'm not even going to get myself into this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just, that's the way how you, you, you do. You can get like... You get some compost because we already have compost. We we accumulate mm-hmm. that over the year, right? We put our you know eggs and mango peels and avocados and stuff like that. Uh, so that's one aspect. And then the other aspect, you get a little bit of manure. You know, mm. by little I mean like six bags of it that my dad buys. And, to be like we should we always need. And lamb is better. I don't know. I think it's accessible. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. It doesn't smell that bad. Like everything's you, accessible, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's true. <laughs> when it comes to shit, no one's. <laughs> Fair, fair fair in texas you could just go to a farm and they would just give you like bags of shit for practically free because it's mm-hmm. yeah they have it i don't know how it's uh you know treated or whatnot yeah they do i think the lamb ones that we're buying is it's mixed something's with some happened stuff. to it yeah yeah, yeah. good it's, it's good. not it's not <laughs> it's not just straight up poop no. you know um 
but uh, uh, all right, I guess to finish uh, to finish uh, the the thought that we had just started or the topic that we had started before. And Trudeau, guns. yes, is uh, is banning over fifteen hundred types of guns. They're all. What's that mean? All they all look like they all look like guns that come out of Call of Duty. That's basically it. They all look like Call of Duty guns. Uh, uh, gun no, there were are... 15, 1,500 types of guns. Dude, crazy. I'm, I was going through the list because the, the list is available on, what is it called? The Interior Government Gazette or something like that. Where mm-hmm. it, uh, It's like this PDF where it shows the, the entire list. There are so many guns. You would think that you, would think that the, you don't need that many. I was expecting the, in, the amount of styles of guns is equivalent to the amount of styles of car manufacturers. Hmm. You know, each country's got one or two. Some of them are good, and and it's like layered. This is like luxury. We kill a lot of people with this. Medium, whatever. That's what I. That's what I thought guns would be. No, dude. No. There's so many. Really. There is oh, an man. insane amount. There's an insane amount, and everything. There's a lot of it that's just copy of another one of another one. So like an AR-15 can have like. I don't know. I was going through them. I was googling them as as just before we started. I got. Check I, out I, I just saw like seven different types of ar-15s so basically i've always heard about this but under oh this is a nice looking weapon it doesn't it it pretty much look like a an m4a1 yeah exactly yeah it's a smaller version that looks scary i'm a little sad because i was just getting into it i was like maybe i will buy an ar-15 to shoot now i won't be won't have the opportunity We'll have oh we'll have to God. do pump pump action shotguns. We can do lever. That's kind of fun. We can do lever action um, lever action rifles too. That's yeah. also good. Yeah, 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 yeah. In my opinion. Oh, this is all fine. This is all great. And anyway, that's what he's doing. In other news, brother. Mm-hmm. Bonnie Crombie, have you heard? Yes. She green lit Avans. Yeah. For the Muslim people, because. The yeah, Adans are only for Muslim people. Um, yep. For the uh, throughout the uh, throughout the month of Ramadan, so uh, you know, shout out to Bonnie Crombie. I feel uh, good about that, and some situations I don't feel good about that. Yep, because there's some masjids that are not zoned, mm-hmm. and there's just a house mm-hmm. beside another house, mm-hmm. literally like as close as your house is to. Uh, and you know that yeah. brown uncle inside that house who fully considers that 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 house is a mosque. We'll go outside mm-hmm. and yell from a <laughs> from on top of a, a overturned garbage bag. I mean, a garbage uh, thing, and just do the other right there. There's one in Meadowville on Winston Churchill by the Canadian Tire, and it's a masjid that has no business being there. Mm. It is, it should not be there, and I'm saying this as a Muslim. Yeah, a- and that was that striking point masjid that like racists came in. They're like, this shouldn't be here, and Bonnie Crown said, it will be here. And I don't care what you have. And there was all these people who like neighbors at the city council yeah. meeting. They're like. But, like, it's our backyard. They don't yeah. even have a fence. Like, right. it's just, I've never seen that mosque. Yeah, it's horrible. Oh, yeah? It's just, I, and I've been to this mosque dozens, and this, it was my mosque because I used to work right by it. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be there. There's no parking. Yeah. People park all over the place. Yeah. It, it, it is, there are examples of masjids that shouldn't exist. Fair, fair. Um, yeah, because some, I just don't want to increase the amount of people who are going to be pissed at us because we know that. And the, rightfully. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, even like if we're talking, you know, Farouk mosque, mm-hmm. parking there is next to nil, right? Yeah. And on a Friday, on a Friday, they're parking everywhere. It's, it's, yeah. and people are walking across people's lawns and things like that. I can see. Well, actually, well, though, I mean, that's some negatives, but let's talk about a positive over here. Um, uh, Isna is doing something called walk the talk. I Ooh. believe. Yes. Walk the talk. Uh, and essentially, it's sort of like an outreach program from that masjid to all neighboring businesses and residences. They're going over mm-hmm. there. They're like raking up leaves for people and like, you know, picking up garbage and, and cleaning okay. up their stuff. And they're trying to, you know, they're donating things and they're, I, I don't know if they're doing any food packages or stuff like that, but it's a whole community outreach program specifically out from ISNA. And they're trying to like kind of um, reform people's opinion or image of uh, of isna because i like all of that yeah yeah it's definitely very good um but yeah, yeah i mean it's, it's nice you know also because like you know muslims are missing out on a lot of things i mean you know as everyone else but specifically during this month not being able to like you know sometimes we have um and i don't see this in any judgmental way but there's a lot of muslims that are are like ramadan muslims 
And mm-hmm. this is their dose of Ramadan, and they're not even getting that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, this is their... The, uh, yeah, so this little thing from 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 uh, Mayor Bonnie is, uh, is a nice thing, I think. Who do you think is giving the Adhan? Um, well, there's a recording from Isna. And it yeah, looked, that makes sense. And it sounded like uh, like I saw the video. It, it's it sounded like uh, one of the uh, one of the one of the kids that does the Tarawi there. I didn't those recognize kids are good. his voice. Yeah, those kids are good. <laughs> I like how often you go to Isna. I didn't recognize his voice. It's not Jamal. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that does it after the eight. So after All eight, right. you go into like twelve and tw- the twelve to twenty. Those, those, those I don't know like how that. you could sound creepy talking about kids. Kids is like, is that kid? You know, the sweet voice. It's good voice. Definitely good voice. Yeah, man. <laughs> I miss Taravi a lot, man. I miss Taravi a lot. Yeah. yeah. Too. It is what it is. Well, and you know what? You know what's the killer? Uh, Taravi used to be pretty hot, as in very, like temperature wise, but this is great weather to do Taravi right now. It's going to be like 20 degrees tomorrow. Oh. Might even go outside. Yeah, I might go outside. You know, try to stay away from everybody, but go outside. Okay, so... Uh, I, Ooh, I, sorry, go ahead. I got to tell you something. Yeah, tell me. I've been sleepwalking like a crazy person. Okay, okay, okay. Like, get under hooks on my wife while she's sleeping and drag her to the living room and then tell her there's a fire and a snake okay. in the bedroom, which Both. is her phobia. Mm-hmm. The snake is her... And then I go into the bedroom and fall asleep. Okay. And then she is very upset in the morning. And I don't even remember. I vaguely remember. It's kind of remember. Woman, I saved you from two things. That's what I said, right? Yeah. I was like, look how caring this guy is, you yeah. know? Underhooks. Are yeah. you kidding me? I could just left. And you put your, you're constantly putting your life in danger. Constantly. Right, because you could just run out and be like, I'm just going to save myself. You know what's funny? I told my brother and he was like, this is wrong. You're lying. <laughs> Like, I don't know I'm lying. And my intention is our pure brother. Right. Why does, why does he think you're lying? I didn't get it. Because there's no fire. There's no snake. Oh, no. But like in your mind, it's true. I know. So but if, not, in, in reality, it isn't. Yeah. Well, whatever. But the, <laughs> and, 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 and the thing is, what's good over here is that you, every time you're making a subconscious decision to save mm-hmm. your wife along every with time. yourself from the snake and the fire. Right. Yeah. I mean, fire is is a real thing like yeah. i mean you know it's it's, it's a it's it's a real source of uh, of danger and you know you mm-hmm. could get hurt and then snakes obviously you know your imagination wouldn't put a punk at snake in the room no it's, it's not putting a it's garter a snake yeah i live on the 25th floor any snake that gets up here means business yeah it worked it's, really hard it's specifically trying to kill you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know That's it has you I on a it. kill list uh, so good on you. I mean, I, if anything over Thank here, you. this all what this is is a confirmation of your adoration and love for your wife. Yeah, man. And she should stop complaining. Very courageous. I'm Gryffindor over here. I think you should, I think she should start complaining. She should stop complaining. Yeah. You know, she's getting saved on the regular. If anything, <laughs> this is an example of what you will act out in real life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is just this is just a confirmation. Yeah. This is prep work. She should be aware of that. You're lucky she doesn't listen to the podcast. Because she's going to be like, you know how... Because it is pretty rude, by the way. If you're of course sleeping, it's rude. Obviously, yeah, it is. it's joking, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten pretty bad. I've done, I think I've sleepwalked last three out of the... Yeah, out of all the Ramadans. I've mm. sleepwalked three. I also lost 12 pounds. Yo, you're... The, the speed at which... You, that that means you had lost for, for our dear listeners. Uh, Sayed is losing weight at a rate of two pounds per day. Yeah. Just about and 1.8 that's, to 2. And, and that rate is being corrected for poop and water. Yeah, man. Crazy. And I'm eat, I'm trying to eat a lot of calories. Like mm-hmm. I'm eating a lot. Of, it's not... I'm just not able to eat enough. Yeah. So, and I'm... I, I eat... I open the fast. Mm-hmm. I eat. I pray. I eat again. I wait. I eat again. Mm-hmm. I did that the other day. I threw up. Yeah. It doesn't help. Nope. All that work. It, it doesn't, and you know what's the, the worst thing is that if you eat all that food and you go to sleep, it's freaking uncomfortable eating. It like, is very uncomfortable. Like you can feel it, like the food is just holding holding by oh, a moment yeah. right by your throat and it feels like it's just going to, like any moment it's just going to come back up. It's pretty rude to the body. It really To like not eat all day <laughs> and then just give it all day. Like you want this, right? You want this? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, man, dude, chill. <laughs> 
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this fruit has chaat masala. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> fruit doesn't need to be spicy. <laughs> like, that is, I love brown food. You know, yeah. we're, we're bringing it up. We're bringing okay, it up. Gonna have we're bringing to. it up. We're bringing up food. Bra- brown food, I'm, I'm great. I love brown food. I don't even, mm. ha- I don't have, uh, I don't even, even the fact that it's all oily, uh, you know, once we ordered uh, from a local place uh, in uh, Mississauga, by the way, hit me up if you want um, some catered food, brown catered food in the Mississauga area. I can hook you up. Good prices. I ordered Nihari. Mm. Dude, I like Nihari. The, I love Nihari. Yeah. I love Nihari. Uh, the amount of oil right. that was in this Nihari. It, it was a lake of oil. And then, <laughs> the, the, then the rest of the sauce was underneath it. All right. Um, no complaints. We have to skim that stuff like yeah, yeah, yeah. we're doing a chemistry project <laughs> over here and just, just skim yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get the b- bread and my, bre- my brother will take like a napkin and then soak the bread. Like this bread is wet yeah. with the ghee, like <laughs> just buttered up. No complaints. Yeah. However, mm. why can't you just let fruit salad be fruit salad hmm. without putting chaat masala on it? I agree. It's... I don't like it. And you know what's the thing is, is that it's been forced on me and many iftars to the point where like, and it's, it's being forced on you during the time that you're really hungry. So now my brain is being programmed that it actually mm-hmm. likes it. I know, it, I know this dumb brain doesn't like it. It's just really hungry. But I, I, I resent the fact that my brain is being reprogrammed to like chaat masala in, in, in uh, fruits. It's just not the way to eat it. <laughs> I agree, man. No disagreement here. The only None. spice that we're okay with is with the thing that you showed me. Uh, the mangoes, the Mexican mangoes. Oh, yes. The, the Mexican chili. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's great. That is acceptable. It's interesting. Like, it's the same concept. It is, but it's just chili. Masala mm. is masala. There's a lot in there. There's a lot that, in there. Also, like, it smells the same going in and smells the same coming out. Yes. And you You're know like, what? Wow. Coming out in whatever, whatever category. Because mm-hmm. I've, I've rolled with some, some brown people. Mm-hmm. And uh, their sweat smells spicy, really? bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm sweating like crazy. I always keep looking to the door in case my wife is there. Like, yeah, you do. <laughs> but she hasn't stuck Wait, her head sweating? out. Why are you sweating? Why are you sweating? I, as soon as I eat, I just start sweating. I'll go to bed and I'll just wake up a pound lighter in the morning. No exaggeration. Like I woke up and my shirt's wet. Or like a literally Jeez. like a wet spots on the shirt. Okay, okay. That's weird. I'm not normal, I think. I don't think we are all. None of us bro, are, bro. My, my kidneys hurt, dude. <laughs> no, I know. I'm 12 pounds lighter. My yeah. wife and I eat the same thing drink the same thing mm-hmm. we basically almost have the same output i might have slightly more mm-hmm. and i'm dropping pounds on pounds and she's maintaining. and she's like she's just about the same she's yeah. like yeah like half a pound so far mm-hmm. and i'm like i'm 10 pounds so far she's like why i'm like i don't know i don't think i'm meant to this is not good for me yeah it's weird though because um as per science mm-hmm. okay uh after a couple of days of you fasting your body changes the metabolism saying like all right well this idiot's not eating well no it's a blessed reason and what why we don't eat and so this blessed man um <laughs> this blessed idiot <laughs> is uh is not eating that much so that it just it slows down the metabolism just so that it can make the food that it does get stretch out longer so essentially a lot of reasons why people might gain weight during ramadan is because they eat the same amount that they would normally eat when they weren't fasting and as a result, it becomes a surplus of calories because their body has slowed down the, their metabolism. But apparently for you, that, that recalibration is not happening. I think if a person can eat as much in like the two to three hours they have that they do in a normal day, mm-hmm. pump your brakes, buddy. That's not, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You would just have to just keep eating. That's yeah. all you're doing. Yeah, like, that's I gotta get three meals in. Yeah, not even sleeping. Yeah, man. What? How is that even good for you? Come on. No. I've had to... The, the, the main reason why I don't eat now is... I mean, even at nighttime, I don't eat that much. Is just because I need to be able to sleep. I can't sleep with, a full, with that much food in my stomach. Yeah, same, man. I, it's very uncomfortable. Let's... Uh, well, alhamdulillah. We're getting through it. It is, it is what it is. You we're are already like it. quarter way through. Yeah, we're done, uh, we're done one over week, one week. As of today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. Did you start on a Saturday or a Friday? I started on Friday. Okay. Oh, I thought it was eight. Well, well, we both started on Friday. Okay. All right, good. We yeah. both started at the same time. We don't look at the moon. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Calculations, <laughs> bitches. Yo, as soon as people start messaging me like, are you doing it? I'm like, shut up, man. Shut Come up. on. Come on. 
I'm like, yeah, I know. I, I've been knowing. I've been, it's on my calendar I got from Hallmark. You know? Like, that's like, how long I've been knowing. Yeah, right. Like, white people already know now. Yeah. They've already put it. Google. Yeah, Google already has it there, too. It's like, this is when it is. Don't worry. Yeah. The, there's going to be a new school of thought. Whatever Google says is going to be Yo, local, whatever. People are Google. mad. The moon watchers are mad. Why? Sometimes I'll tell somebody, I'll, you know, I'll do the calculation. They'd be like, that's what they want you to do. And I don't even know what they mean. I don't ask uh, a follow-up question because I'm not no, going to engage in this. It's not worth it. But I kind of want to talk about it now. Yeah. Maybe we should have one of them on the podcast. No, nah, screw it. Whatever. I don't, I'm not interested. This one moon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always like this. Uh, this okay. We're, we work our way backwards. Okay. Mm-hmm. The second Eid is uh is uh is is um decided by which day uh, is the day of arafat the day of arafat is decided in saudi arabia so when saudi arabia says when it is that's when they do the eid over there that's mm-hmm. so that so that's when saudi does it now um if you just look at it from that point of view if one eid is dictated by saudi then why not have the other eid just dictated by saudi and then if everyone is just doing the same day as saudi then everyone's united which is the most important thing no one really cares whether or not you're doing a local moon sighting or an international moon sighting Mm -hmm. doesn't matter so uh why don't you just do it that day that's one number two uh okay you you need to see the moon only in mississauga gta toronto canada like when is it? When is it? Like wait, 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 wait. Too much Can't, borders that were made by European settlers. That's what we go by. We we, we don't go by. Uh, we don't go by. You know, we can't go past that. I've had okay. friends be like, my cousin saw it in Atlanta, and I was like, does that count? They're like, I don't know, but it does now. Like they'll but, just make their own rules up. I mean, that, that's technically true, right? If it's a right? trustworthy person that sees the moon, then mm-hmm. you you gotta believe them, right? If it's a trustworthy person that believes. So the guy, you can talk to everyone in in around the world. It's just the same day. Just do it the same day. Just Stop making it, it so day. that like I have to go to my boss and be like, you know, Ramadan's starting this day or Eid is starting this day. And I leave the office and another one comes in and be like, but it also starts on this day. I know. That's the worst. I remember when I used to do it by the moon and I used yeah. to like go to work and be like, hey. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. But, like, it's going to be one of these two-ish days. Right. And they're like, well, which day? And like, I got to wait for the moon. Yeah. Like a witch. Like, you know, just, and just look at you. You have to wait for the moon. I have to wait for the moon. It's And they'd be like, okay. Right. They're very, very understanding. Like, wait for the moon. <laughs> what else are they going to say? Also, it's like, what is it? What do you, like, the moon works on a schedule that is that yeah. is calculate that, that you it's can calculate late. it no it's not it doesn't it doesn't show up with it. surprise motherfuckers uh, yeah. <laughs> it's ramadan today yeah we know where the moon is <laughs> like at all times moon. right Dude, nasa I, can, can 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 they know where the moon is per like whatever inch yeah inch mm-hmm. to the nearest inch they don't calculate love, it you, you have sky map perfect. on your phone uh i think you told me to, to download it once so, oh it's so. awesome yeah 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 is find that, the planets and the moon you're like it's under us this asshole <laughs> i knew it hmm. i felt heavy have you ever have you ever owned a telescope uh yeah uh, when i was uh, in houston didn't uh, calibrate it properly okay what, what, the thing what my parents mean? thought it'd be i didn't fix it up so i could see stuff oh so no, just nothing was uh nothing was yeah, in not focus? really not properly not enough for me to enjoy it but i've had friends and they love it some of them love it. Really, eh? Yeah, Hamid and Rafi, uh, the first or second time I met them, they got a telescope, drove out to Arendelle Park. Mm-hmm. I got there, real Bob Nerds. was there, her cousin. Yeah, it was great, man. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Yeah, yeah Highly yeah, yeah. recommend it. Actually, one of my first interactions with, uh, one-on-one interactions with Rafi was, uh, there, was a, there was a meteor shower. Mm-hmm. And um, apparently, we as a group were going to go out and go watch it but yeah. I, I think the plan kind of fell apart so it was only me and Rafe. so we just drove north into Brampton and then uh, just randomly pulled over on the side of the road put down some blankets and just looked at the, looked at the sky it was uh, I, I swear I could hear it my, my brain was my brain was playing tricks on me and when I was seeing it light up across the sky I could hear Dang. Maybe it was him. Maybe it was him. He was just trying to enhance the situation. <laughs> Damn, uh, I, it's amazing. I went to Algonquin once and saw a meteor shower. It's a bright, like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, 
it, it was so, uh, at one point when the meteor shower ended, you can actually see a satellite slowly move across the sky is how bright it was. The, how, do you, how do you determine what you're looking at as a satellite? It's so slow. Mm, that it can't be an airplane? It can't be an airplane. And it's uh, way too high. Okay. And way too slow. Okay, okay. Very cool. That's cool. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah, it is. You can't segue into anything, <laughs> asshole. Oh, because I, oh yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Tap, just because just because I brought up the the thing doesn't mean that I got to figure out the exit strategy, bro. You can figure it out, man. Ah, I guess I could. NBA might start in December. I know that's not like new season, right? Might, not not continuing mm, the 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 current yeah, season. Yeah, apparently. Which means apparently. that the Toronto Raptors right are the two year champs. Get us a banner. Oh yes, put another banner up on the thing. That's amazing. That Love is it. amazing. Love undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. Currently undefeated. Reigning champs. Yeah, yeah. We should get other rings. Yeah. We should get into other rings. Just smaller ones, it's, obviously. We don't want to be... It's not rings. It's like a gold face mask. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh, man. Hey, can you imagine, like... I'm still, I'm still, They're going to start opening this stuff up, man. They you know, released some plans today. They're going to open up some uh, gardening centers. Okay, okay. It's weird stuff they're opening. Yeah. They've oh, also put okay. golf courses on hold. Like, hey, golf courses, we're going to tell you soon, so get ready to oh, be open. Oh, man. Rich white people are going to be... Have you played golf before? Golf, not no. driving range. No, never. Mm, me neither. Only driving range. I wonder if it's... Uh, I think wonder if it's a rewarding game. Oh, definitely. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's brutal, bro. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things not fun at the moment when you look back at it and you're like, ah, uh, it's like camping. golf. <laughs> yeah. It's tough, but worth it. You know. Okay. Um, speaking about gardening supplies and things like that, which is weird, right? They should always have garden, garden stuff open, specifically because... You know, the more people were planting shit, there'll be less people that are going to the supermarket for stuff. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but uh, we started truly uh, using a sprouting kit to sprout broccoli sprouts. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're getting that sulfuro, the stuff that's good for your brain. That's nice. inside the thing, right? Actually, broccoli sprouts. really, really easy. Okay. I'll walk yeah. you through it. So you get yourself some yeah. uh, broccoli seeds. Okay. You get a mason jar. You want a wide mouth mason jar. And then you go mm -hmm. on Amazon and you go buy um, a kit. The kit comes with like a little frame thing that sits on an angle that allows you to rest the jar on at an angle. Okay. Hmm. Um, so, uh, you, so you get your jar. You put, you put some, some of the seeds inside. And then you cover the jar up with the cap. The cap's got a grill in it, okay? Uh, so you fill it up with water and you like swirl it around and then you throw out the water. You do it a couple of times and then you put it sitting in a dark, um, like in a cupboard or something, in a dark place uh, for the first three, four days. Once, mm. when, um, once when you can see that the little shoot is coming out, right about an inch length of the shoot so don't and don't get this mixed up from the root because there's also a root and then there's the shoot so once when you see the shoot coming out a little bit about an inch then you can take that and put that on your countertop in indirect sunlight for another two or three days you allow it to grow even longer right so the mm -hmm. whole process will take you about eight days or so by the end of eight days you have like a condensed thick uh batch of um of broccoli sprouts and taste 10 times better than anything you would buy from the supermarket, including like the super expensive stuff that I used to get from uh, 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 Whole Foods. Man, okay, I'm yeah. gonna do this. Only eight freaking days, and you're getting you're getting really fresh good stuff. Fresh broccoli sprouts. Yeah, fresh broccoli sprouts that actually taste good. Like at this point, we don't because like we're not we don't have enough space for us to be able to put it in a smoothie and a heavy smoothie and stuff. It is Ramadan, right? So we just mm -hmm. you're just grabbing clumps of it and just throwing just eating it, and it tastes great. Hmm, I'm yeah. down for that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me a picture. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you a picture. I want to get a hydroponics uh I too want to do that. Rig, yeah. But they're expensive. I got an air fryer. Okay, yes. You uh wanna see it? It's right here. Yeah, bring it. Show and tell. Here. And I'll be right back. That's mm -hmm. my very nice line. I use it time after time when I'm spitting my mind. So now here we at. Here we go. MC say you. I'm hungry guys, just letting you know. Surprise right, yes, over backlash of uh, this yes. thing is still in the box, obviously. Okay, okay, okay. It's an Instapot. This, it's an Instapot 
air fryer. Okay, flip it over so we can get the English uh, version of it there. Oh, you know, I was doing that for your benefit, bro. Right, thank you, thank you. Air, air fryer, fryer lid. Instapot. Okay, okay, okay. So you have your regular Insta Fryer. I mean, so your Insta Pot, like, and you just put it right on top of that. Exactly. Right, it even says Brov on the side. Right, that's my address. <laughs> Brov. Where Brov. Do, where, where do you live? One bro five, Lane. What flam 151? Bruv. Yeah, you got Let's play shit. Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah, you got Smash Bros now. I, I've set it up. I haven't played with anybody. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. uh, it's Ramadan. We're playing, you know. Yeah, I gotta I gotta wait until after Ramadan. But I've played with my wife. Just It's a blast. So fun. Like uh, to, uh, Mario Party? Mario Party's freaking Just fun, those, dude. Those simple ass games. Yeah, 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 so yeah, much yeah. fun. Yeah, that's yeah, a blast. And you would think that, oh no, man, I'm a serious gamer. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like this. Wrong. No, you're gonna love it. It has Fortnite too. Yeah, yeah and yeah. NBA 2K. I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these games are worthwhile getting if you only have the, because it's cross-platform. Because uh, mm -hmm. Fortnite, you can play, you can play with people who have their computers or their PlayStations. I didn't, I didn't realize how little space was on the, the device itself. I need to get like a card, a memory card. Yeah, get an SD card. Get a big one. Yeah. I got a Super Smash Brothers, and I was like, "Yeah, we're just about full now. Yeah. That's one game, and we're 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 tapped out." Yeah, 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 yeah. For some of the some of the games that I don't need to load quickly, I bought I bought the actual game as opposed to downloading it. Oh, like how do you? Uh, just buy it's a cartridge. cartridge, and you stick it in there. Yeah, Jeez. just on the top. What's the most space you can get on a on a memory device? Um, I don't know if it takes two fifty six. Wait, hold on. I can Ooh. I can I can solve this. Right no big deal. I'm sure you have it. Uh, that's right here. We got to play, though. I got to play with you guys. You guys are serious. No, no. We're not serious. Well, I'm not serious anymore. I'm all doing uh, Call of Duty, but I will be. I will be serious. Uh, biggest... Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. I only have a 32. So I think maybe the biggest would be 128, but, you know, you can I'll just, just it. check it. Just check it out. Yeah. yeah no problem. Fine. What else is happening, man? Uh, this is it, my friend. I think, uh, you know, uh, just, uh, trying to stay healthy. Got, uh, you know, Ramadan always makes some weird stuff happen to me for, for me, too. Uh, it's not like oh, weight. Of course. It's not weight weight wise, but like that lack of water really, really messes me up. <clears throat> yeah. So, it is what it is. But I'm just going through it. Yeah. Know? With everything I know about the human body, I'm still like, wow. I don't drink water the whole day. This. I wonder if this is okay. <laughs> but you do it every year. Yeah, every year it's good. Apparently, we're lengthening telomeres, my brother. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel that way. Yeah. Um, and, oh, wait, and then there's also that is for sure. I'm, I, I remember just reading it just recently. Also, there's a there's a, this um, there's an institute in um, Germany that all they do is research around around fasting. Hmm. And um, I was watching uh, I was watching one of the their YouTube videos, and they were saying something along the lines of like regeneration of like cells and tissue, and along with telomeres, is like it's, it's that. Uh, also, uh, the generation that okay, the kids of a generation that went through famine have mm -hmm. very robust DNA, mm. but the kids of people who have abundance have mm -hmm. weaker weaker ass DNA. Mm. So interesting that that i remember that those two tidbits as well then again whatever this is not a health podcast do your own googles do you google i'm guessing these are kids who went through a famine but then got enough nutrition yeah there must be a timeline you can't just go famining long term man. no i think i think what it is is that uh when you live in constant abundance um it actually is it, it works negatively towards you mm. uh, with regards to food you don't want to always have like more than you need Right, gotcha. and so that's why fasting is is healthy for you, um, in that it, it kind of recalibrates some stuff and, and things like that. And also, it's supposed to like you know bring some a lot of things down to baseline. So, mm. but I don't know if anyone is getting the benefit of that because you're eating thirty samosas at the end of the night, just <laughs> just undoing it all. I try to ask people not to bring the samosas around me when we start. I'm like, can we get that later? Let me tr at least pretend to eat the spicy fruit, and then I can get to your greasy samosa. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Trying to get, try yeah, that's true. I uh, we do uh, dinner first now. Yeah, I don't have that. I, I, I have the uh, discipline not to eat all day, but I don't have the discipline to eat, go dinner first. Okay. Because you can smell the other food, and it smells way better <laughs> it really does. than your rice and meat. It really does. Uh, okay, so you take a picture of your Instapot, post it on, uh, on the Crasher Flow thing. Sure. Uh, no, wait, when you actually use the, the fryer, I'm assuming. Yeah, when I use, use it, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to make unhealthy food in a healthy way. So spring rolls, samosas, mm. 
Probably maybe Pacordis. I doubt if this thing is going to do that justice, but let's see. Okay, another shout out with regards to that is uh, there is a Mauritian lady that lives in uh, in in. Oh, there's more. I think Moga Dixon. Okay, um, that uh, will you know she'll fold the samosas and everything. You just go over there. You can buy big bags of it, just pre-folded um, uh, egg rolls, mm-hmm. um, pates, samosas, whatever you want. You just call her, order it, and then you go the next day. You go pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. So um, again, What's I don't, I don't have her number right off the top, but like, if you're listening to this podcast, you can hit me up. I give you the, I give you the auntie's na- name. It's good stuff. We've been using, we've been using her product for, or like buying from her for like Yo, three, four years. Where did she say she is? Um, uh, what's it called? So that, uh, like Dixon, 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 and four hundred one. Okay. I am down to check it out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just go over to the place if you buy it. And now you got like a year supply of frozen stuff. You just whenever you want, you just throw it in. So it will work well with your Insta Fry. You just buy that and just yeah. chuck them in there. This thing doesn't take oil. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't see how it's going to work. But the amount I paid for it, it better. It better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm like, beta. they're not cheap. Let's right, just right, say right. that. For sure. Yeah. I got to switch and I Instapot in the same month. Mistake. No, man. Don't worry about it. Live That's, your life. Yeah. Live your life. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those three paycheck months, bro. What? 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 I know. We live in. <laughs> On that note, <clears throat> excuse me. This has been episode 233. Thanks for hanging with us. Uh, we'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Oh, also, uh, thank you for everyone who uh, hit us up saying that they like the new intro. Mm. We like it as well. Yeah, we like it as well. It's we might hot. have to. Yeah, we might have to come up with a with a new tagline. We'll we'll we'll, we'll work on it off air. Don't worry. about What's that. our current tagline? Roll it. Oh yeah, that's your tagline. <laughs> Should I have something more hip hop related? No. Okay, I've got because this this beat is a bit different from the last. Yes, one. it is. Yes, it is. Um, you know, the world is your oyster, bro. Uh, you can do whatever, but offline, I got one idea. I'm going to pitch it to you. you. Let me know what you think. Okay. People, take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. Stay strong. Good night. Yo. Flow.